Want to use the Quest 3 as a PC VR headset? I'm gonna show you how to connect it, what settings you should use, and even some secret tweaks for the absolute best PC VR image quality. Now let's get straight to it because I'm not here to waste your time. There are three options for connecting a Quest 3 to your PC, and the last one is my absolute favorite. But we'll start with the most straightforward one, the link cable. Now this doesn't have to be the official link cable because it's way too expensive, so I've left links to a few other great options in the description. Once you plug in the cable, you should see a window pop up in your headset asking you if you want to enable oculus link and that's exactly what you'll want to do next open up the oculus pc app as that will need to be running for this to work now all you'll need to do is put the quest 3 back on your noggin and go to your quick settings and then click right here where it says rift you should see your pc's name pop up so just click it and you'll be loaded into the rift home from here you can start any of your games from either the oculus library or steam vr but i'm gonna give you a few secret settings to boost your experience even further. By the way, if you wear glasses, I'd highly recommend you check out VR Wave as they make a range of high quality prescription lenses for all major VR headsets, and they're now running a pre sale event for their Quest 3 lenses at VRWave.store where you can get $10 off. Okay, now let's continue setting things up. Go back to your PC and we'll start with the Oculus app settings. Now, this will depend on your computer specs, so it might involve a bit of testing to see what works best for your configuration. Click on Devices, then click on your Quest 3. In this menu, you can adjust the basic settings such as resolution and refresh rate. If you're on a lower end PC, I'd recommend 72Hz refresh rate and a 0.7 resolution scale as a starting point. If it's smooth, I'd start by slowly increasing the resolution by 0.1 and experimenting. And if you're able to hit 100% resolution and keep a stable 72 FPS, then you can go to 80 or 90Hz refresh rate and 120Hz should be coming soon in a software update. I'm running this on a beast of a PC from Stormforce, so I'll set it to 90Hz and 1.3x resolution for the ultimate clarity. By the way, Stormforce has a full range of VR-ready PCs for all budgets, so check out their lineup at the link below. Now we get to the sneaky settings that not a lot of people know about. You'll want to navigate to Program Files, Oculus, Support, Oculus Diagnostics, and open up the Oculus Debug tool. This will open up a lot more settings for you to experiment with. I would leave most of these on default, but if your PC is capable enough, here is where you can really increase the visual quality by a lot. Again, only if your PC can handle it, turn off asynchronous space. Warp, set the distortion curvature to low, encode dynamic bitrate to disabled, and the most important setting of all, the encode bitrate. Now by default, I believe this is at 200 and you'll see I have it at 4 times that. Try increasing this by 100 at a time and seeing how things perform. You should start to see a serious increase in clarity, but of course you'll want to balance that out with performance. Pro tip, if you want to go over 500, you'll notice that the debug tool doesn't allow you to type it in. So to go around that, just type the number you want any anywhere else and copy paste it into that field. To make it easier to dial these settings in just right, you can also enable the performance HUD and that will show you real time stats inside the headset. Just remember to turn that off once you're done to be fully immersed in your virtual world. One of the big advantages of Meta's headsets is the option to enjoy wireless PC VR, so let's first talk about the native option, Airlink. Everything I've told you so far applies to this too, the only difference being that you'll want to toggle this switch for Airlink, and your PC should pop up in this window the same as before. Note that for both Airlink and the next method I'll cover, you will want your computer to be plugged into your router for the best experience. I highly recommend using at least a 5 GHz Wi-Fi connection on your Quest 3, but ideally you'd be using the new Wi-Fi 6E standard, which provides way higher bandwidth and lower latency. So if you're really invested in this wireless PC VR thing, then I've left a few great options for Wi-Fi 6 and 6E routers in the description. Finally, my favorite way of playing PC VR Virtual Desktop. This application will cost you about 20 bucks, but I'll show you exactly why it's extremely worth it in a second. If you want to know how to set this up, my video is the first thing that pops up on both Google and YouTube when you search Virtual Desktop Tutorial. And even though I made it for Quest 2, the method is still exactly the same for Quest 3. Now with Virtual Desktop's latest update, they have added something called the AV1 codec for Quest 3. And I won't go into technical details, but just know it offers increased clarity and lower latency. In the Virtual Desktop Streamer app on your PC, just 
Just go to options and in the preferred codec dropdown select AV1. I would leave all the other settings here on default, just make sure to add your Oculus username right here in accounts by clicking change and then make sure to save. While I personally like the way the AV1 codec looks, you might want to try the H.264 option as well as it allows for higher bitrate. In your Quest 3, open up the virtual desktop app and your PC should show up in here. Click it to connect and you're in. But there are some essential settings that you need to make here first. Which ones you pick here will depend on two things, your PC specs and how good your router is. Same as with Airlink, having your PC connected to the router via wire is essential and make sure to check the Wi-Fi router options in the description because it's likely the one your internet provider gave you is complete crap. Next up, go through the settings and select the right VR graphics quality first according to your computer on a scale from potato to godlike. Then, same as earlier, set your VR frame rate to your desired value. The VR bitrate is very dependent on your Wi-Fi connection, but if you have a dedicated router for PC VR, then you can bump this up to max and get the crispest image quality. Now you can enjoy the magical world of wireless PC VR, and if you haven't checked out my full Quest 3 review, click on it right now, and don't you forget to like this video if it was useful, entertaining, or maybe both. Catch you soon. Cheers, guys!